Welcome to EPCube installation video. Before the installation of EPCube, please read the installation manual and safety precautions carefully. Pay attention, an EPCube installer account is mandatory needed to start the commissioning. To ensure safety during installation, the installer must wear personal protection gear listed in the manual like safety goggles, safety shoes, and insulating gloves. Ensure that all necessary tools and materials are available before beginning the installation process to avoid any inconvenience on site. Carefully unpack the single components and take out the base and accessories. Examine for any damages and ensure that quantities are correct. Two people are recommended to handling the battery pack box. Examine for any damages and ensure that quantities and the needed accessories are correct. Two people are recommended to handling PCS box. Check for any damages. Ensure that quantities and the needed accessories are correct. Please download and look in the quickly installation guide before installation. In case you encounter difficulties during the installation process, you can refer to it in time. EPCube HES supports floor-mounted and wall-mounted installation. Here we will introduce the floor-mounted installation. Assemble the base bracket A1, base bracket A2, and base with the M6 bolts. Align the base bracket A2 on the wall and mark the mounting hole's positions. Use an appropriate drilling machine with a drill bit of M6 Air M8 to drill through the concrete wall. Use the hammer to insert the anchor bolts to the wall and fix the base to the wall. Check the levelness of installed base with spirit level. Carefully place the first battery module on top of the base and ensure that battery mating connector sockets are well aligned. Fix the side brackets between adjacent battery module and base on both the left and right sides with the screws. Fix the back brackets between the battery modules and manually tighten them. Fix the two brackets on each side, left and right, of the last battery module by using screws latched with the top brackets and manually tighten. Carefully place the wall bracket on top of the battery top brackets. Choose the hole's positions and mark them on the wall through the wall mounting bracket. Use an appropriate drilling machine to drill through the concrete wall. Notice, please protect the battery connector while drilling. Fix the wall bracket with battery top brackets with the bolts latched on the wall bracket.
Carefully place the EP cube PCS on top of the battery stack. Align the edges of both the EP cube PCS and the battery module. Fix PCS side brackets between the EP cube PCS and adjacent top battery module and manually tighten. Align the holes of L bracket with the PCS wall bracket and the EP cube PCS bracket. Tighten all screws to fix the EP cube PCS with the wall bracket. Remove the EP cube PCS front panel. Use an electric screwdriver to unfasten the 14 screws on the dead front cover of the EP cube PCS. Notice. Make sure there is no electricity before install the cable for grid L and N. Route the end of the wires through the cable gland, dedicated for the AC power, and connect the wires to the terminals labeled as L and N of grid terminals inside EP cube PCS. Route the end of the wires through the cable gland dedicated for the AC power and connect the wires to terminals labeled as L and N of AC boost terminals inside EP cube PCS. Connect the RS485 wire between the meter terminals and EP cube PCS RS485 terminals. Plug the pre-assembled PV connectors to the MPPT's inputs of PCS. Carefully connect the PV positive and PV negative connectors to the corresponding terminals of the EPQ PCS. Please check the polarity before connect. Make sure the battery fuse holder inside of the PCS is with fuses enclosed Install the dead front cover using the screws and ensure no live electrical components will be exposed during this operation. Then install the knob of the PV switch using a screwdriver. Scan the QR code present in the starting guide present in the box. Install the EP cube APP and start the commissioning procedure steps. Pay attention. An EP cube installer account is mandatory needed to start the commissioning. Scan all the QR code of the PCS, all battery packs and the base. Device location. Implement information related to the location and time zone. Bluetooth config. In the step, connect your phone to PCS through Bluetooth. Wi-Fi config. It allows you to choose your home Wi-Fi network to connect your device with it. Device update. In this step, firmware of the RTU and EP Cube are updated to latest available versions automatically. Grid config. Choose your system's applicable grid standard. HES. Set system time as per local standard time. Warranty registration. In the step, input the owner email, take photos of the completed installation from different aspects, and upload using add button. Turn on the PV switch by turning knob from off to on. Switch on the EP cube PCS via pressing the power button for three seconds. Terminate the installation within apply all the side cover of PCS, battery pack and base. Thank you for watching the EP cube installation video. In case of any questions, please feel free to contact us or scan this code to navigate to the learning platform for installers.